Hi everyone, it's Mrs McInnes here. So today I'm going to be showing you how we add and subtract fractions with different denominators. So here is our first example. We want to work out as a simplified fraction 3 over 4 plus 1 over 12. So these fractions have different denominators. The first one, the denominator is 4. The second one, the denominator is 12. So from the previous lessons, we know that we can only add and subtract fractions with the same denominator. So we have a method we can use to make these fractions both the same denominator. And the method we're going to use is called smile and a kiss. Okay. The reason for that is because the working that we do looks like a smiley face and then like a sort of X shape, like a little kiss. So first thing we do is we multiply the denominators. So we do the smile bit. So it looks like a wee smiley face. And we multiply these numbers together. So 4 times 12 gives us 48. So that's going to be the denominator for the bottom of each fraction. Then what we do is we do the kiss shape, so the X shape, and we always start on the top left, so 3 times 12, and that goes on the first fraction, so 3 times 12 is 36, and then the other side, 4 times 1, gives us 4. Now that these are both fractions with 48 on the bottom, we can go ahead and add the top numbers together as we've learned in our previous lessons. So 36 plus 4 gives us 40 over 48. Now all we need to do is simplify this fraction down. So these both divide by 8. So on the top we'll have 5 and on the bottom we will have 6. So 5 over 6 and that is that question finished. So let's try another one. So question 2 we have work out as a simplified fraction 3 over 5 minus 2 over 7. So again these are both different denominators and they need to be the same denominator. So let's do our smile and a kiss method. So 5 times 7. So that's going to give us 35 on the bottom of each fraction. We then start on the top left. So 3 times 7 which is 21. And then 5 times 2, which is 10. And now that these are both the same denominator, 35 on the bottom of each one, we can go ahead and subtract. So it's just the top number. So 21 minus 10 is 11 over 35. Now we need to check if we can simplify. So these do not simplify down these two numbers, 11 and 35. So that would be that question finished. Question number three, we have work out as a simplified fraction, five over six plus one over two. So smile and a kiss method, we do the smile bit first. So six times two, that's going to give us 12 on the bottom of each fraction. And then we start top left. So five times two is 10 on the first side. Six times one is six on the other side. Now that these are both fractions over 12, we can go ahead and add the top numbers together. So 10 plus 6 is 16 over 12. Now we need to see if we can simplify this down. So this does indeed simplify down. These both divide by 4. So that would give me 4 on the top and 3 on the bottom. And then we could actually go ahead and write that as a mixed number because that's a top heavy fraction. The number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom. So we can go ahead and write that as a mixed number. So 3 fits into 4 once with 1 left over. So it's 1 and 1 over 3. Okay, the last example I'm going to do here, we have 3 quarters minus 2 fifths. So smile part of this first four times five gives us 20 on the bottom of each fraction three times five we'll start on the top left so three times five is 15 four times two is eight and now that these are both the same denominator we can go ahead and subtract so 15 minus eight leaves us with seven over 20 and we can see if there's anything to simplify and there's not seven and 20 don't divide by anything um, further so for today's lesson, those of you who are working on pink level are going to continue working with the same denominator. Okay, so that is questions like we did in the previous lesson. So for example, one quarter plus two quarters. Okay, already the same denominator and you just add the top numbers 
So that would give you three quarters. Those types of questions for the pinks today. Those of you that are yellow and purple are going to be doing the questions like I've just done in the video. So different denominators, okay? If you are a pink level and you followed that lesson, okay, you can go ahead and try the, the yellow purple questions. That's absolutely fine. But if not, stick to the pink questions. So yellow purples, you're going to be doing questions that are different denominators. And I want you to check the Teams post to see which questions and which worksheets I'm posting for today.